Okay, I guess it's recording. I mean, my timer isn't... There we go, it started. Okay, guys, as I said last episode, I instantly am going to just play through this whole thing. This is part five of Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. And we were checking out the water, the lake, and stuff like that. I want to check out what the... I want one of those things. Them big giant boat bikes. Them look sweet. That's what I was talking about last episode. Bio Scott here. Um, yeah, I gotta do all this intro crap just to get it thrown out of the way. Last episode, we were exploring the park. No, we was not. We were exploring this lakeside. Very, very nice. I mean, I could take a screenshot, but then again, that takes time away from the game. So, um, yeah. I hope to do like a 30 minute video on this, hopefully it ends, like hopefully we finish this game. I've been saying that for the past all episodes I think. She's not in an office either. Well, they live nearby, don't right, they? Yeah, in the village. Now. You don't think she's gone to look for Mr. Graves, do you? I think Lizzie knows Robert will turn up when he's sober, it'll be alright. Do you want me to go and look for her? No, it's okay. Come on, I promised the kids another shot the last number than I promised everyone a cup of tea. You're very like her, you know. Like Lizzie. Me? No, I'm not. First chance I get, I'm out of here. Well, alright, that is a little bit creepy in that. That is. Can we push this? No, we cannot. Um, too bad we can't, like, take a seat and swing. At least we can hit it and it has fit as it is. That seems fucking scary. Yeah, I don't, I don't like being near that thing. <gasps> what? We can. Shit, I fell. Okay, never mind. That's all I'm gonna do. Um, let's go. I want to get through this game as fast as possible so I can, um, complete, well, not complete, finish that game called Zombie. Whoa, this looks like you can go in here. You can. I want to finish that game called Zombie, as you guys seen, like, probably the episode before this. No dialogue? Alright. I can keep talking. Um, and then after, like, before Zombie, well, no, after Zombie, I beat it. Uh, either the 24th or the 23rd, I'm going to be playing the game called Until Dawn. It's like a scary... It's a scary game, a horror genre type of game. It's supposed to be like a movie. I know there's a girl in there who's the main character. She's an actress in real life. She has a bunch of scary movies out or some shit like that. And it, like, one of my friends recommended it to me. I actually got it. But I, I meant, like, I pre ordered it, so definitely it will be on this channel. If you guys are even interested. Oh, seconds. Hello, Catherine. It's Kate. Elizabeth? Lizzie. I've heard a lot about you. It's good, you know, you and Emma, it's not difficult or anything. Should it be? I'm sorry? You said it wasn't difficult. I don't see why it would be difficult. You and Stephen were together a long time ago. He moved away. It certainly isn't difficult for me. I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you or... No, I'm not offended. Listen. She seems Elizabeth, offended. But Lizzie, please. <laughs> Lizzie. Right. You seem like an okay type of person. And I'm not trying to be rude, I promise. But let's try and be realistic here, huh? Let's, um, try and do our best. It's a British thing, right? Yeah, yeah. I suppose it is. We'll do our best, then. Uh, now, rearrange my CV. Alright, CV rearranged. Um, as a... Did that lag? I think it lagged. There's a little lag spike going on right there. Oh. 
please don't tell me I'm walking away from the story. I really want to check this thing out. Oh my god. I can't imagine seeing this in real life. Oh, that would be so cool. I don't know how well it would work, but that looks sick. What the hell, dude? Oh, here's the real map. Oh, wow, we're right there. So we've pretty much covered this whole map. We started at the uh, Valis Observatory. And we've went all the way around. Even through the Appleton's farm. I think this is at, um, near the, I think this is gonna be last episode, guys. I'm not sure. She's done uh -oh. Don't say that, Reese. She wouldn't do that. Would she? What about Dylan? She's not exactly jumped at the chance of looking after him, is she? She just left you to it. She's not coming back. I let her go. She's always thinking of everyone else. There must be something important she needs to do. It looks like you're in charge now. So I guess this means we're not leaving, are we? Spain can wait. Listen. You get back in there, and you make this the best bloody Peter Pan ever performed in England. And I'm gonna go and get your mum and dad. Promise me you'll come back. I promise. Wow. All right. What is this? They put that on the rock so much. Like, there's... They do that at all. That's everywhere. What the hell is this up here? Whoa, that's trippy, man. That'd be trippy, man. What? Uh, glowy. Mr. Glows. All holiday markers to the main hall. All holiday makers to the main hall. I said markers the first time. I did not mean to. Oh, sweet. Um, during this break that I've been doing, since this is a pre-recorded episode, I might as well tell you what I've been doing during this break. Hold on a second. Looks like there's a path through there. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, during this break, I got like a bunch of like a hundred, a pack of a hundred stickers um, from Amazon for like nine dollars. So what I'm gonna do with that is like sticker bomb my a bike that I found in my shed. It, it is my shed. I'm, I didn't steal a bike. I don't even like riding bikes, but I'm gonna sticker bomb it. Please shut up. You've been saying that like 24 times. So, um, I'm gonna make a short, probably time lapse, one minute video with some music behind it. Just so you guys can see what I did during here. There's gonna be like some riding around the city with that bike. I mean, it might not be a complete city, but they call it a city, but whatever. Um,. Holiday makers to the main hall. Motherfucker, you don't shut your mouth. I'm gonna rip your little tongue out. Oh, whoa, this wasn't open before. Why can't we go in the girls and not the men's? I'm gonna go. Okay, that's a little bit. I don't know if you can call that. Uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna shut that to be nice. What is that? Oh. Okay. So can we go in here? Oh, we can. Wait, where are we at now? We are there. We need to go to 11, 12. Is that really it? Are we? Alright. I hope this episode... I'm going to try to end this episode either at 30 or 40. But... Whoa, you're all up in my face, fool. Dead bird over at the swimming pool. A dead body? What the fuck? Did you fish it out? 
Yeah. Did you get a chance to think about that pay rise? Oh, I'm sorry, Reese. I've been a little bit busy. Oh, Rachel. Sorry I'm late, Mrs. Graves. I was packing away the tennis things. Did you check Mr. Cole Shelley again like I asked you to? He's not back yet. I haven't seen him either. Do you think he went into town? Maybe. Yeah, something oh, like Reese, that. The dentist were booked in for a 4.30 uh. tennis session, but they didn't show up. So I went to their chalet. You know, they always take the one near the campfire, but they weren't there either. I think maybe they went into the village for a hoover bag and might have given Mr. Cole a lift. A hoover bag? Why on earth would they do that? Well, I think maybe Mrs. Denton was hoovering and the bag broke, so they had to get another one. Because there's this dust all over their chalet. Huh? Are you seriously going to end it right there? Because there's dust all over this chalet. And that's it? Wow. Photo club! Alright, I'm thinking, you guys, I'm thinking about. Keep that fucking door on. Oh, I can shut. I completely forgot I could shut, like, turn on and off flashlights. Fuck. Not a flashlight. A fucking light. Lamp. I don't know what you call it. A light switch. There we go. That I found the right terminology. Please. Oh my god. No. Can't go swimming. Damn it. I'm thinking about doing like a freaking setup video and then doing some quick update videos like I, I guess you could call it a vlog I don't know I'm thinking about doing that on these two days like four days off well in between like I got it. no running no diving no ducking ducking was it? oh pushing somebody's head underwater no bombing <laughs> bombing no heavy petting. So, no fucking in the water. I am. No having fun in the water. For the. Yeah. Yeah, what I mean. Or what I said, I don't even know. Look at that. Is your hip giving you grief today? Always gives me grief. And I managed for the last ten years, so you're a little late for the knight in shining armor routine. Oh, suit yourself, I'm only trying to help. God oh, damn it, Stephen. I'm not some useless, sappy girl that you can just string along forever. Look around you. I made all of this. I built it on my own when everyone else had written me off as some poor little cripple. You know that's not how I see you. Well, you weren't there, were you? No. You'd given up on me long before the accident. What do you want from me, Lizzie? I love you. I'll do anything. Anything except her, okay? I thought not. I love you too, but sometimes I think you just say what you think everyone else wants to hear. So, Lizzie is crippled. I did not know that. Well, Alright then. Um. Now that I found that out, that's that's sad, I guess. You're crippled and your leg is broken, I'm guessing. We are here at number 12. We went to 11. Wait a second. So where's that? Where are you going to take me? Which way? Okay, up here. Alright, I have a feeling we won't give me time to wait. Whoever that is. Follow the light. Yeah, beatboxing on the mic. <laughs> Can't go in all. What can we go? I do not know. Where's the main hall? Please, main hall, main hall, main hall. Receptionist. We can go to the receptionist. We've been here before. Alright. I'm gonna shut that door. We've been there before. Oh, gotta go up here. Wait, there's a map. Okay, there is a trophy achievement slash steam achievement or whatever. Where you look at all the maps. Oh, we are here. Okay. 
my guess is we came in through the valley and now we have to go up here out the map or something. I don't know. Where are you taking me, Mr. Glows? I really hope there's an ending to this game, and it's not me walking around all the time. Oh wow, it's up here. Okay. I mean, if there really is no ending to this game, I don't know how I'm gonna end this series. Oh, Steven. Oh, Steven. oh, sweet. What? This is the end. I'm guessing. Oh my god, sweet. There's data coming through faster than I can encode it. I've already lost two processors. They keep burning out. Please, I love you. You need to get out of there. It's not safe. I need you, Steven. I need you here. I can open the gate manually. I can let you in. It's too dangerous. You don't understand what's happening. No, here. you don't understand. We can solve this. We can find a way. I just need more power. I need to amplify the signal, and I can't do it on my own. You saw the opportunity. You ran the numbers, remember? We're responsible for all this. You and me. <laughs> it's not just you and me anymore, though, is it? Jesus, Kate, you're trying to talk to it, aren't you? Kate, you can't. Steven, I have to. Wow, she's going crazy. Talk. <gasps> Whoa. This looks very pretty. 30 kilometers, I'm guessing. I mean, uh, just took a mad guess at England's speed. It's not miles per hour, I'm guessing it's kilometers. Valley. It's oh, completely dead, right. it won't start. It's only a short walk to the camp. I think we should split up. You go and fetch Rachel. I'll go back to the village and find Evie. I don't think we should split up. I don't want to either, Charlie, but we've got to. I'll meet you back at my house later on, okay? We can talk properly then. Why won't you tell me what happened? No, no, actually, you should stay at the camp tonight. Come and find me in the morning. Bring Rachel back. She's going to need her mother. Meg. Just take care of her. Meg! What is it, Charlie? Nothing. Just be careful, that's all. I will, I promise. You as well. I'll see you later on. There she goes. Why did it just get pink all of a sudden? Like the sun's going down and stuff like that. Where are we? Oh, we are up there. Have we not been up here yet? I swear we have. All right. Toilet. Why aren't you calling from home? It's hard to explain. I'm having to move around to follow it. When it finds a suitable host, it begins to amplify. Sorry, I'm not making much sense. They're talking about flu and a quarantine on the radio, but this... I know you're not that kind of doctor, but it all just sounds really weird. We don't know exactly what it is yet, but it's got something to do with the other night. Stephen, your face, the mark, do you think you're infected? It's not a disease, Lizzie. It's something else. There's something Kate said about patterns. I can't grasp it clearly yet. Okay, come over. Have some lunch. We can talk properly. Have you spoken with Kate? Oh, she's locked herself in the observatory. She's buried in the data. But it's already out here in the world. I need to see how it adapts. How what adapts? Stephen, try to... Lizzie, listen. Ready. I need to go. It's moving again. I'll call you later. What the hell was that noise? Oh my god. 
was there going to be sirens going off and we're going to have to run. The earth is moving super fast right now. Oh no, they're playing sad music. We must be getting to the end. Don't look like we can go back there. Not going to waste time. We're going to try to finish this game. This episode. Uh, none of that dramatic things needed to happen, but it was cool. Let's see. A week now. Surprising we can go in here. Do you think she'll like it? It's in an awful state, Stephen. I don't It'll think so. It'll be an adventure. It'll mean putting down roots here, maybe a family. Are you sure she wants children? What, to stay here? It's not her place, you know. Don't start that again, please. I mean, she's ambitious, love, and she's well older. She's not going to want to stay cooped up at home looking after the kids. Is that how you felt about me? Oh, stop it, Stephen. That's not what I meant, and you know it. I'm just saying you should make a choice. If it's a family you want, well, you know how much Lizzie wants a family. Jesus, Mum, I didn't come here for marriage guidance. I just asked what you thought about a fucking house. Stephen Appleton language! Sorry, it's just that you have to understand. Kate is the most brilliant, extraordinary, wonderful person I've ever known. She's... she's like no one else. The way she looks at things. It's like she has whole worlds inside her head. I don't think you or anyone really understands that. Wow. Language. Oh, that scared shit. Wow, lights don't work. That scared the shit out of me. I thought I was seeing a dog on the fucking stairs. Huh. I mean, I can't see a damn thing, but this house looks nice. Well, it really does look nice. This house is so big. Wow, this would be great for like, uh, just, uh, this is just a nice house. I'd like to have it. Make some uh, really cool. Huh, I don't even know what I was trying to go for there, but whatever. All right, guys. Uh, Another radio and a map. Where are we at now? We are here. Oh, I think we're following the orange road. I mean, we started all the way down there, and the, the orange road ends up there, so I think we are almost done with this game. Sweet. Physical changes are evident. Although the butterfly burn is now faded, I can clearly see the change in my pores up close. As I record these words, I can feel myself hearing them as if for the first time, as if I'm both speaker and listener simultaneously. I am a scientist. I can only deal with the evidence I have. And this points in one simple direction. It's not in the observatory. It's in me. Wow. It's in her. Mr. Glows is freaking out right there. Can't open that. What is that noise? Obviously can't go in there. I hope to finish this game real quick. After I finished the job, you need to think of that too. 
He's really sorry. Yes, yeah, so we can go down here and check this motherfucking house out. Um, guys, I was thinking. I was thinking about getting a PlayStation 2 and doing some PlayStation 2 games. If I can find out how to record a PlayStation 2 game. Which I'll cover this in a different video, not right here. I don't want to bore you guys with the details. I'm just gonna leave that motherfucker on. Lights don't work, but the TV does. That don't make no sense. If it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. No phones, you know the protocol. That doesn't matter now. It's figured out how to circumvent the telecommunications blackout. What? I didn't think it could. Kate understood. She saw how adaptable it was. How smart. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're talking about it like it's alive. You have to assume that everyone here is infected. We can't know We're that. We're infected. It's killed all the birds, and now it's in us. It's trying to leave the valley any way it can. The quarantine is not enough. You've got to remove the carriers. You've got to cut off its energy source, its food. I've already told you, Stephen, I'm not going to water you an ass train. You now it knows we're onto it. It's going to keep on spreading as fast as it can. The quarantine and blackout will hold it in check. They've cut all of the phones out of the valley, so it's only you communicating Aren't out you now. you're listening? It's figured out ways around it. Radio waves, something. All of the lines are cut, but the phones are working anyway. You've done all the right things, but it's not enough. You've got to stop it before it adapts again. Stephen... My... my family, my... my wife and kids. You know perfectly well what you've got to do. I can't do it. Don't ask me to do it. You're asking me to sign their death warrant, my own family. Damn it, don't you think I'm aware of that? I'll still be here when you drop the fucking stuff! Don't you lecture me about sacrifice, you spineless little shit! If you're so full of ideas, you come here and try dealing with it. Tell them the time when we had a choice is over. Tell them to do it. You've got to do it now. No phones, you know the protocol. That doesn't matter now. Alright, we've heard that. Well, alright, um... Wow, he's wanting to kill everybody. Wipe him out with a nuke or something. With a fat man. From Fallout. Not to be racist or anything, but it's from Fallout, so... Yeah. Might as well check all the doors. Oh, wow. That's why you check everything. What? So we're in that one dude's house where all his kids and stuff lived. Damn, that would suck to have to nuke your own place. Well, if it was for a good cause, then I guess it would make sense and it would be worth it. Damn, that sun's bright. That is so nice. What the hell was that? Can I go through here? It looked like I can for a second. I guess not. I guess it's not. <laughs> the birdie died. We're going to go check out this big ass building. Hold on, no, we're not checking that out just yet. We're going to check this out. Did this game get really dark all of a sudden? I know the sun's going down, but. I guess I can't check that out. That car reminds me of Grand Theft Auto 4. Don't ask me why, I don't know, it just did. That's the first thing that came to my mind. What, what, is there something here? Am I not allowed here? Or what? Oh, we can go in here. There's a story in here. You look well. I don't. But thank you. You do. How are you settling in? Nothing changes around here. I mean, it's great to be back. It still feels like home, I suppose. In a funny kind of way. 
It's been a long time, Stephen. Last time you saw me, I could still walk properly. You look pretty good to me. Stop it. For what it's worth, I'm sorry about how things worked out. Or didn't. Or didn't, right. Do you think you made a mistake leaving? My mum tells me it's never too late to change things, to put things right. Funny. It's just what she said to me the other day. I have been wondering oh, what she meant God, by that. That's <laughs> embarrassing. Sorry. Oh, maybe I should go. Why? Stephen, we're both married. I don't think this is a good idea. What isn't? We're just two old friends having a drink, that's all. <laughs> sure. I guess. You're just two old friends. Like, super old, like you're in your 80s old. I don't feel like we need to go back there. It is 4 a.m. in the morning. Might as well go this way. Since we have to anyway. I'm guessing that's a pub. What the hell? Don't look like there'd be a story there. Oh, there's something down that way, definitely. Where are we? We're right there. Might as well check this out real quick. in my eyes again. I can't move my legs, can't feel my face. When I collapsed, the light was waiting for me there. Caught me, lowered me here. Now it's pooling around my feet, watching me. The printers are spewing out page after page of zeros. It's frightened too. It'll be okay. guess is that she went insane. Well, it's 30. It is the 34 minute mark. I'm going to go back this way. Hopefully we get a save point soon. Is this where we came from? Yeah, this is it. Okay. Huh. Alright, there's the pub. We are gonna go a little way. Drive slowly. Rudolph the Ranger jumps on by. Once in a while, so you drive slow. You don't wanna get hit by Rudolph. My nose is itchy. I don't know if I'm. I don't. It's really tempting to make this an hour long episode. Road closed. Huh. 
We're at the train station. All right, here we go. I've never seen it. They do, though. You're overreacting. Steven, they stare at me. <laughs> Yesterday, I went into the village, and this old woman just stopped in the middle of the street and stared at me like I had two heads. Oh, don't be so melodramatic. <laughs> I'm like a walking freak show. Oh, this place, it's so insular. I just don't understand how you grew up here. Well, I was very different then. And they're not so bad, really. That's easy for you to say. Just give it a bloody chance, Kate. This was the deal. A year here, and we could be in with a real shot at Messia. Stephen! Oh, Christ, it's Lantham. Stephen Appleton, I thought it was you. What's all this about a yank wife? Oh. Um, hello. Two heads, Stephen. Hi, I'm Kate. Oh my god, we're so close to the end of the game. See, I want to continue this. Hold on. Crap Darling to do. Stephen, I don't know if you'll ever listen to this. Uh, maybe you've decided to stay with Kate, and I, I can't blame you for that. But I can't wait for you either. I've got to think about the baby. And, well, <laughs> I should have left a long time ago. I've run out of excuses for not leaving now. But I do love you, Stephen. And I hope you find peace one way or another. Oh. There's planes coming. Oh, what? They're bombing the plane. God, they bombed the place. We are like right there at the very end. Wow, they bombed it. Oh my God. So we hit like a freaking save point and it's the 40 mark, 40 minute mark so look at that beautiful sunset and I'm hoping, I'm going to say it, I guarantee the next episode will be the last. I don't know what one it would be but it will be the last. So bye Scott. 
signing out and hoping to sign in once more. Peace.